Hello friends, we are Rituban and Arunima, the Diversity Travellers. We live in Hobart, capital of the beautiful Australian state Tasmania. Experiencing the diversity of this wonderful world through travel is our passion. Over the last 15 years, during our time in England and Australia, we have travelled to six continents, 40 countries and over 50 great cities and extraordinary natural wonders. We are creating short videos based on our own recordings to archive our beautiful memories and share with you on our YouTube channel. Do you have 18 minutes to watch and listen to this video? Then we would like to take you for a relaxing walking tour of Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens in Hobart. It's a nice stroll along the Hobart's waterfront to reach Hobart Cenotaph and the newly built Remembrance Bridge. In 1925, the Cenotaph was constructed from public donations and became the first capital city memorial in Australia. The design was a result of a public competition and it was placed here because of its proximity to the Soldiers Memorial Avenue. The Remembrance Bridge links two of Hobart's most significant places of remembrance, the Cenotaph and the Soldiers Memorial Avenue on the Queen's Domain. Have a look at the view. Overlooking Mount Wellington, Hobart's skyline is pretty spectacular. The Queen's domain was gifted by Queen Victoria to the people of Hobart. It is home to many public facilities including the Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens and the Government House. The Friends of Soldiers Memorial Avenue forms part of Queen's domain. It's a memorial avenue comprising around 500 trees planted between 1918 and 1919 to commemorate soldiers mainly from Hobart and parts of Tasmania who died in the First World War between 1914 and 1918. It's a very nice relaxing uphill walk through the avenue of very old trees. The Royal Tasmanian Botanical Garden is located on the land originally occupied by the Muinina people. Archaeological excavation have uncovered artifacts dating back more than 5,000 years. Look at this very old tree, completely dried inside, but still standing past the test of time. Officially recorded as founded in 1818, the Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens is the second oldest botanical gardens in Australia. Sydney Botanical Gardens were founded two years earlier. It's a place to relax, to have nice walks, to meet people and picnic on a nice day. Darwin River in the background, lush green lawns, variety of trees and plants, different gardens at different corners, blooming seasonal flowers, 
it's an amazing place to visit all year around, especially between September and February. The Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens 200 years of history mirrors the history of Australia's other colonial era botanical gardens. It has an amazing collection of world flora, fulfilling expectation of botanical curiosity and diversity, including cool temperate flora, sub-Antarctic plants, flora from southern hemisphere and collection of plants from New Zealand. Look at the cactus and succulents. They are all in very good shapes and size. They are happy to be photographed. Historic convict built walls provide unique heritage value to the gardens. These heated walls were constructed to protect frost tender plants and extend growing periods of fruit trees on the boundary of the colonial gardens. The French Memorial Fountain is a significant sculpture element in the gardens. The fountain was designed and constructed by the well-respected Australian artist Stephen Walker. It represents the bow and sails of an early French sailing ship and was erected in 1972 to mark the bicentenary of the first of a number of French voyages of discovery that visited Tasmania from 1792. The Japanese garden was designed by Kanjiro Harada, a landscape architect from Yezu, Japan, Hobart's sister city. The garden officially opened in 1987. It emphasizes traditional Japanese garden elements of wood, stone and water. The plants in the garden largely consist of species native to Japan.
the waterway with its associated tea house, water wheel and bridges beautifully acted as focal points for our recordings. The zigzag bridge presents a puzzle, brings concentration and thoughts to your mind while walking and looking at the waterfall in the background. It's the most relaxing part of the botanical garden, a place to contemplate and get blended into the nature. Let's continue our walk through the garden. Just a short distance from the botanical gardens, restaurants and visitor center. This romantic carved arch is set at the base of stone steps surrounded by tall trees and shrubs. This arch is called Anniversary Arch. The arch is in this place since 1968 in time for celebration of the garden's 150th anniversary. The stone steps take you to the famous Lily Pond. One of the most recognizable and beloved areas of the gardens, the pond was formed in 1840 by damming a natural stream that drained the adjacent hill. Originally used as a reservoir, water lilies have grown in this pond for more than 100 years. Three circular timber decks representing three overscaled lily pads is a grand landscape design and feature of the lily pond.
The botanical garden is one of our most favorite places in Hobart. The variety of plants, the trees, the waterfalls and the ponds make the surroundings so picturesque. A beautiful walk in the garden brings a calmness to your mind, removes your stresses for a while and makes you refreshed. Way back to the city, you can again enjoy the spectacular view of the River Darwent and the Tasman Bridge. Hope you enjoyed this walking tour with us and please visit beautiful Tasmania. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more regular video uploads. Share with your friends and families and enjoy the world's amazing diversity. Thanks for watching our travel videos.